Okay, on the line we have uh, Kenya K. Stevens, uh, co-founder of the uh, Juju Mama Love Academy. We've had her on the show here a number of times before, and we've also had her husband, uh, Carl Stevens, on before a few times as well. But uh, tonight we're going to talk about uh, Tantra and how to use Tantra to bring out the best in your partner. Kenya, how are you doing tonight? I'm very good. How are you, Michael and Hotep? Always a pleasure. Oh, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Always good to have you on the show as well. So looking forward to this segment here. Um, so I saw the um, you have a live uh, Tantra uh, webinar coming up this Sunday, April 17th. Yes. Yep. Yes. <laughs> and I know you've have done those. Been, have you been to one of our live sec, um, um, Tantra, um, you know, demonstrations before? Not in person. The webinar, yes, but not in person. Mm -hmm. So you've seen me naked. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I told you that before. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I told you you're like the only guest I've interviewed that I've seen naked before. <laughs> oh, really? I don't mind. I think it's so natural and beautiful. But yes, we're doing that this Sunday coming. I'm very excited because this one is for the women. And, right. uh, you know, I'm, I'm super excited about it. It's one of those pieces where we get to, you know, sometimes people think Tantra is for men to work on women and give women a better orgasm and give women a better you know, state of mind and peace and harmony. Right. But guess what? This one is going to be for us solely for women on how to work on the men. That doesn't mean men can't come. Right. But the women need to really get some techniques. That's what I'm doing Sunday night, Michael. Okay, excellent, excellent. Now, and, and before going any further, I should let people know, okay, this segment here is, is for adults only. It's not pornographic. It's not X-rated, but it ain't G-rated either. This is, I mean, this is basically for adults, okay? Um, so I, I named this segment here, um, How to Use Tantra to Bring Out the Best in Your Partner. And I know the, um, the webinar that you're doing is looking at it from the female perspective, bringing out the best in the male perspective. But it could go both ways. The male could use Tantra on the female as well. Is that correct? Oh, absolutely. And that's really the standard format of current modern Tantra. Is, you know, because women, 83% of women do not have an orgasm during intercourse in this country. So wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. Hold on. Say that again. 83% of women in the USA have never had an orgasm during intercourse. Okay, that was a little different. The first time you said it, you said they don't have an orgasm during intercourse. Second, That's second what time, they don't. Okay, okay. They don't. So, so you're saying, but the second time you said they've never had an orgasm during intercourse. So, is it that? Is it? Well, yeah, they've okay. never. It's both. They have never. If a woman has not had an orgasm during sexual intercourse. And she's not doing that now. I mean, she has not had it. Because once okay. you have that, you, you know how to do it. The, the only reason why I asked the question is because a woman could be in a relationship now. And when she surveyed, she's saying, I don't have an orgasm during intercourse. But five years ago, when she was with somebody else, she was having an orgasm during intercourse. That's the only reason why I asked that question. Okay, just trying to get, just, just trying to get clarification. Because I deal with surveys all the time. So I'm just trying to get clarification right. on that. Okay. Smart, smart. You're a statistics <laughs> guy. But, yes, these women have never <laughs> put wow. on the stat wreck. <laughs> okay. okay so. and, and that's not fair to me. That's something that we have to remedy. But go ahead. I'm well, sorry. no, it's not fair because, number one, it's not fair to the woman. Number two, it ain't fair to the man because you're going to have a lot of angry women walking around if they if they haven't had uh, an orgasm during intercourse. Okay. Exactly. So, yes. So, so how can Tantra help men and help women? Okay, so Tantra is a, a way of life. It is a way of bringing sensuality, bringing spirituality into sensuality, and then bringing sensuality into your entire life, how you eat, how you speak, how you address others, and, of course, how you make love. So Tantra, in, in essence, means I bring God or goddess or source energy into the bedroom, and I treat this person as if I am worshiping them. I worship my body, I worship their body, and, you know, it just really takes sex out of the pornographic uh, um, understanding that we have today. And it's lots of techniques, it's lots of um, tools, it's lots of things to learn and do with your partner that goes beyond what we know of as sex. Wow. Okay, so how does, when, when we look at the... Um, 
the way sex is viewed here in the U.S., and we're coming up on a break in a minute, so I'm going to have you answer this on the other side of the break. When we right. look at the way sex is viewed here in the U.S., it's a physical thing. And then also now uh, I saw one study that showed like about a little more than a third of all Internet traffic is to adult websites, pornographic websites. So yes. how on the other side of the break, I want you to explain to us how does this Western concept of what sex is distort our reality and distort what sexual relations or what sexual intercourse really is okay we're going to talk about that on the other side of the break okay 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 sta good. stand by stand by do me a favor just mute your phone just mute your phone okay we'll we'll do okay all right i'm michael m hotep we'll be back in a few minutes you listen to the michael m hotep show right here on the empowerment radio network where knowledge is power visit our facebook fan page the african history network the african history network uh we have the information for tonight's show there and on our twitter page the ahn show the ahn show or michael m hotep share that information on your own uh twitter and facebook page invite your friends to tune in Welcome back to the Michael M. Hotep show. That's the trailer for the uh, new documentary, Out of Darkness. It's available at AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. All right, on the line, we are speaking with Kenya K. Stevens. She is the co-founder of the Juju Mama Love Academy. We're talking about uh, Tantra and what Tantra is and how Tantra differs from our idea of sexual intercourse in the Western world. And we're talking about how to use Tantra to bring out the best in your partner and the upcoming live Tantra webinar that's taking place this Sunday, April 17th, that we're going to talk about as well. Okay, so, uh, Kenya, right before the break, I was asking you, how does the Western idea of sex, sexual intercourse, especially being that pornography is so readily available right on the smartphone, right on the Internet, how does that distort our view of what sexual intercourse is and how does Tantra differ from that? Well, yes, there's a standard format in pornography where you see the people talking and then generally the woman kisses the man's genitals mm -hmm. and, you know, gives him a nice head and the, maybe the man will give her head. In about 25% of pornography videos, he, she, he gives her head. Then they have sex. Then he has an ejaculation. Right. Okay. You rarely see the woman having an ejaculation. You rarely see the woman having a full-body orgasm. You rarely see the man having a full-body orgasm. You rarely see, you understand, and maybe it takes too much time, but you rarely see um, other aspects like, for instance, I made love with my husband on Tuesday, and I went into full trance. And I started to tell him, you know, how much I trust him, how, uh, what's going to be happening in his future, because I was able to see the future during sex. And, you know, so you don't see spiritual experiences during sensuality um for now, instance, now you said uh, hold on just a second you said you went into full trance t-r-a-n-c-e trance yes that is a meditative state okay samadhi mm -hmm. okay oh go ahead go ahead so that's what we're going to be training women to do on sunday night i mean when a woman has access to the spirit world when she's in a sexual situation she can tell you how you're going to make that next dollar she can tell you how the relationship can improve she can see the future so these are the things that should be normal during sex sex is not just to have an ejaculation that's the point it seems in pornography to have that cum shot and i don't see that hey, as hey can you can you can you we can't say that on the radio but uh, oh, we can say I'm ejaculation sorry. we can say I'm ejaculation so okay go ahead go ahead <laughs> go ahead <laughs> okay to have the, I'm sorry, I'm a sex educator, so I use those terminologies. You say ejaculation, that's fine, go ahead. <laughs> ejaculation is something that seems to be the end result. Uh, the, the video's over when the man has his ejaculation. Right, okay, okay. right. That's Not that I know, but I'll take your word for it, but, but go ahead, go ahead. I know because <laughs> I watch it and I study it, and I really want to know why this would be the case. I right. mean, they're really only showing 10% of the act. Right. So that's, uh, that's, 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 that's that. And that's where the education is coming from for how to have sex. That's where people learn to have sex. There's nowhere else to learn. Right. Well, um, 
there were there books that can teach you, you know, can teach you how to have sex, things like that. But but that's something that's rarely available. That's something that's rarely available. The pornography is rarely available, and then what it also leads to is the subjugation of the women, and it leads to also, from my understanding of this, it leads to uh, men. Uh, it can also lead to men having like unrealistic expectations of how they're supposed to perform or you know pounding the woman things like you know just just a, a, a lot of things and then if you talk to um adult film stars from my understanding of this they'll tell you okay what you're seeing is fantasy this is not real you know and what i mean is that they're saying right. like this this is not how you should try to think that sex is you know what i mean right mm -hmm. but then why is it on there as a representation of sex the kids have the, the phones and the computers, and this is how they're learning sex, Michael, sadly to say. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not a knock against pornography, pornographic artists or pornography. That's fine. It's fine. I don't have any problem with it. The issue is we're adding the rest of the stuff. That's what, we, that's what Tantra does. Add the rest of the act. Okay? I okay. have a client uh, right now in, in, uh, overseas who is utilizing sensuality to overcome their relationship issues. Because mm. they're doing specific acts, sexual acts, some of which I will show you on Sunday, that is actually healing their open wounds from childhood. That's the purpose of sex, manifestation and healing. Okay, now when you say open wounds uh, from childhood, get, can you give us an example of like open wounds and how Tantra can heal sure. that? Sure. Sure. Let's say your man was mistreated by his mother. Well, that's 70% of American men. And he then now has issues with you at every turn of the, of, the, of the wheel because he is still angry at his mother. And so he's taking it out on you. Well, that's 70% of American couples. So when you have a situation like that, you can take that man into a sexual act and work with him in specific ways that I will share on Sunday to actually get rid of that tension, get rid of that anger within his body so he can release that anger. Now, yes, the man has to be vulnerable because the man may break down and cry. The man may have convulsions in his whole body. The man may have his first full body orgasm. Most men have shut down their sensation based on guarding themselves from the women in their lives that were being mean and evil. So they aren't even open. You can open a man up. That's what we're talking about Sunday night. Okay. All right. So, so tell us, uh, take us through some of the things you're going to deal with Sunday night. Now, Sunday night, what time does it start Sunday night? This is 9 p.m. Eastern time, and it goes until 11. It's a two-hour presentation. Okay, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Sunday, April 17th. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. uh, some of the things that um, you're going to deal with are uh, Kingmaker. Is Tantra, is Tantra women yes. work on yes. men? Yes, Kingmaker. Mm -hmm. Kingmaker. You like that title? Because King, yes. you know, that's, who, that's what a man is. <laughs> a man is God. You know, he's a king. He's a beautiful um, human being with divine. He is made in the likeness of the essence of God, right? right. So that's what you're bringing out of him when we talk about Kingmaker. Um, a lot of women complain that their man is not making enough money, point blank and period. So my thing is this, how are you going to support him in making more money besides, you know what women do, they run out and get that second job, get that third job, they're, they're burnt out and tired and they're not even having sex in the first place. That is not necessary. You mm. can actually, from the bedroom, support your man in making more money, and that that. It, it goes along with you're increasing his self-esteem, you're increasing his belief in himself, and you're increasing his overall chi, his overall power during this act. Okay, now we're coming up on a break in two minutes. You got a few more minutes? Sure, I okay, do. Okay, okay. Uh, so how does, um, how does, give us an example of how Tantra, how the woman can use Tantra to help the man make more money what does tantra have to do with the man making money his income well because a man is making money based on how much he believes he is worth a man is making money based on his self-worth based on what he thinks is possible for him a woman can open up those possibilities just like your mother if she said hey baby i know you're going to do good in school i love you you bring home that c and she says i know you're going to do better next time what you going to do better next time because you have that kind of support. 
So this intertwined with making love with him in various ways that I will show you will increase his capacity and his infinite possibility. So even if he is working at a job that the income is $50,000 a year, his salary, but increase his income, is it at his job? Is it from other sources? I took a client last year um, who made $900,000 a year as a lawyer. Damn. This year he makes $1.5 million a year. That's what we're talking about, sweetheart. We're, I don't care how much they're making. They can make more. They can do more. There's all. There's infinite possibilities. These are sure. kings out here. Sure. These are kings. Mm -hmm. Sure. So what I did is I supported him through the tantric rituals and supported him in feeling more hell and releasing more junk from his mind so that he would have space to make that extra money. That's what I'm talking about here. That's what sex can do. Wow. Okay. Now, uh, okay, we're coming up on a break. We're going to continue this on the other side of the break. So... Some of the things they're going to deal with, discover the sacred feminine art of bringing the prosperous king out of your masculine partner using ancient Tantra techniques, rituals and rites. The Kingmaker Live Tantra demonstration provides two full hours of demonstration, instruction and questioning and answers uh, from longstanding Tantra practitioners, Carl, uh, uh, Carl Stevens and, and Kenya Stevens. OK, we'll be back. If you stand by, uh, can you just mute your phone? OK, stand by. We'll do. OK. Um, you listen to the Michael M. Hotep show right here on the Empowerment Radio Network, where now is power. We'll be back in a few minutes. All right. Welcome back to the Michael M. Hotep show right here on the Empowerment Radio Network, where now is power. Now, to listen to the show, download the TuneIn Radio app to your Android phone, your iPhone. Search for Empowerment Radio Network, Empowerment Radio Network, or on your tablet, or go to TuneIn.com, TuneIn.com. Search for Empowerment Radio Network. Remember, these shows are archived at AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. They're also uploaded to iTunes, and we have them on our blog talk radio page blogtalkradio.com forward slash the african history network show all that information you can find at africanhistorynetwork.com all right so we have kenya back on the line okay so kenya uh right before the break uh you were explaining to us what is going to be taking what is going to what is going to take place saturday april uh 17th at the two-hour tantra session what you're going to cover go ahead and uh, finish explaining that to us please Absolutely. I'll be showing the ladies 10 different tantric techniques of kingmaker status, how to make your man, who's already a king, into the visceral form of a king, wherein his income can increase, his vitality can increase, his chi can increase, y'all connection can increase, the uh, appreciation level in a relationship can increase. Y'all can get rid of these past pains. You can get over whatever happened in the past. These are important things for relationships, the stuff built up. And sex is a way to release old built-up stuff. You know, you're going to have a wonderful time understanding the ways that you can do it, even as simple as I have one of the techniques. I'll give you a little clue. But okay. putting a bowl of water under your bed, uh, for ladies, putting a bowl of water with a crystal under the head of your bed, right underneath the pillow, can support flow in that relationship where before there was anger. If you think about it, anger was fire. So if y'all have some anger issues, put that bowl of water in that crystal. See, these are things that our grandmothers should have taught us, and right. they go along with sex. When you put that bowl of water in your bed, you have a better sensual experience with the man because you're getting over the fire and putting some water in your relationship. So these types of things, plus the sexual techniques, like Buddha tongue flicker, <laughs> which is a different way to kiss a man's genitals than just in and out, in and out. It's a more holistic, really wonderful way, approach to um, oral sex. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> so, uh -huh. so, okay. So, uh, now some of the things you're going to uh, deal with also uh, raise his masculine fire, build his passion for you, strengthen his vitality and love making, uh, mm -hmm. feed his confidence and resourcefulness. Increase his income, magnetize uh, new opportunities, increase uh, trust and alignment, make him a king. Now, uh, yes. this special presentation will include instruction on three major ceremonies you can do from the comfort of your home to increase your masculines uh, or your, 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 your male partner's uh, cash flow immediately. Plus, you'll yes. receive instruction on 10 easy tantra uh, tantric activities to activate your king during regular lovemaking 
Um, okay, now you talk about womb, the womb blood process for manifestation, for fast manifestation, the womb blood process for fast manifestation. Tell us about that. Well, the woman has a monthly cycle if she's still cycling, and that energy is very, very powerful. And a lot of women ask the question, well, should I have sex when I'm on that time? What should I do? And there are a lot of religious doctrines. But one thing that we're going to talk about is how to deal with that and what to do with that. And when you are on your cycle, how to go about a sexual activity that will be extremely, like 10 times, 100 times more powerful in terms of manifesting something. So that's going to be a wonderful thing. The water ceremony, we talked about that just a minute ago. And sure. there's more to that. The fire ceremony to remove his blockages. Um, I had, my husband had a, lot, had a lot of a blockages to money. And I. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, we lost it. We got to get this back open. Blockages to money. We're going to pick this back up. Uh, just a second. You listen to the Michael M. Hotep show right here on the Empowerment Radio Network with now this power. Uh, let's get her back on. Just a second here. Okay, this is Michael. We dropped your call. Okay, you were talking about blockages to money. Go go ahead and finish that. Yes, I said my husband had lots of blockages to money. And over the years, I have worked on him to make sure that those come off. And every year, he makes more and more and more. What, was, this, was this Carl? Had, was, you're referring to Carl? Yeah, this is Carl. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. He, he had a past life scenario where he was really involved with major money, but he stepped on a lot of people to get there. So this lifetime, he wanted to be that spiritual dude without having any money because that was um, a symbol of corruption for him. Okay. Now, how do I know that? By having sex with him and going into trance and figuring out what's going on in his head. Right. And then how do I know how to heal it? By going, having sex and going into trance meditation? That's what we're going to talk about, Michael. Isn't that fun? What if you had a woman who could do that right now with you? What would you feel <laughs> about? <laughs> you understand? That's right, right. Right. Well, it's, it's powerful and it's dealing with sex on another level and it's dealing with you know from, from my understanding this is dealing with sex the way the ancients deal with it in ancient Kemet, ancient africa things like this yes. we had a different understanding of sex and sexual relations here sure it, it, we're dealing with baby you know just basically just the and physical it, go ahead right it doesn't take the pleasure out it it adds to the pleasure now your orgasm instead of being a 30 minute burst is now 15 minutes 10 minutes well, the other night we were 30 minutes of being in a state of orgasmic bliss together. So you understand that's okay. a long time. All right, all right, Kenya, now you're just bragging. You're just oh. bragging now, Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to show you how. Most, 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 you most people, sex doesn't even last 30 minutes. You're talking about a 30-minute oh. orgasm, and 83% <laughs> of women don't even have an orgasm during sex. You're just bragging. Okay. Well, we got to take them baby steps, and that's what I'm going to do. This class is for beginners. Okay. So it's not advanced. It's really basic and really easy to follow. Okay. So how can uh, people who want to learn more about the webinar, what should they do? Well, you know, you're going to put up a link to the webinar. Yeah, and I'm I putting that, that up now on our, on our website, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. Yeah. That's right. That's where they find it. And I hope your people know where to find that on the site because this is coming right up. It's three days from now, 9 p.m., and we are ready to rock, Michael. <laughs> okay. All right. Looks like we have a call here. Just a second. Hold on. Let's try to get this call in. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Caller. Caller. Hold on. Um, all right, caller. Welcome to the Michael M. Hotep Show. Uh, go, go ahead quickly with your question because we got a minute before the break. Okay. How you doing tonight, Kenya? Hey, greetings. Hey, uh, my name is Frank out of Detroit. And uh, my question to you is, uh, most of the conversation has dealt with, uh, you know, certain acts, sexual acts, what have you. But can this be done just off the whim? I mean, is there some sort of training or some sort of warm-up or something to, I mean, to me, you make it sound like it's osmosis, like it's already implanted, like it's DNA. Well, it is DNA, and thank you. I'm from Detroit, too. Thanks for that question. It is DNA in a certain sense because we all have this knowledge in our bones, in our cellular memory. However, what we do oh. at Juju Mama's Love Academy, is, which is my online love academy, is we educate people in the proper breathing techniques, in the proper perspective, in the proper – you understand there's a lot of things that go with being a tantrika. 
So that is what we do here, and that's what's going to be done on the call Sunday night. We start with the conversation. Then we'll go into the demonstrations in the second hour because there's a lot okay. to understand in order to do this. Yeah. Okay, good. That yeah, that's pretty, that adds a lot more clarity to the whole conversation. Okay, because I caught the show a little late, but the way you were talking about the conversation, it just seemed like anybody could do this at the snap of a finger, like it's no problem. No, no, it's a lot of work. Well, no, yeah, they've got to understand the precepts. Yep, I agree with you. Okay. And that's what we do. That's what we educate on. That's why the class is two hours, and we have six weeks tantra training. So those who become practitioners, it takes six weeks and several tests to get a certification from me in Tantra. All right. Well, I'll be listening to the rest of the show, and I thank you for answering my question. Okay. Absolutely, Speedy. All right, Frank. Thanks for calling thank in, you, okay? Mike. Okay, thanks. Thanks. All right. Bye. All right. Uh, stand by. Okay. We're coming up on a break. We're coming up on a break. We're going to uh, uh, wrap up uh, the last segment, okay? So just stand by, okay? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you listen to the Michael M. Hotep Show right here on the Empowerment Radio Network, where now just power. We'll be back in a few minutes. We're speaking with Kenny Stevens of the Juju Mama Love Academy, uh, talking about Tantra and how to use Tantra to bring out the best in your partner, uh, especially your male partner. How to use Tantra to bring out the best in your partner. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Visit our Facebook fan page, The African History Network, The African History Network. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. Welcome back to the Michael M. Hotep Show right here on the Empowerment Radio Network, where now is power. All right, that is uh, Out to the World by Arrested Development. Out to the World by Arrested Development. Visit their website, website adtheband.com, adtheband.com, or arresteddevelopmentmusic.com, arresteddevelopmentmusic.com. Okay, so uh, on the line, we, are, uh, we have uh, Kenya K. Stevens still uh, from the Juju Mama Love Academy. And we're talking about the uh, we're talking about Tantra and how to use Tantra to bring out the best in your partner. We're talking about Tantra as a kingmaker and the uh, two hour li live Tantra demo they're doing this weekend, this set this Sunday. OK, can you go ahead and tell yes, us the rest about it? I have my husband right here. He just hey. came into my room. Hey, he Carl, how you doing? About... Yeah. Hey. All right. All right, man. All right, good to have you on tonight. So Kenya's been telling us, uh, and I've seen you, you all's tantra demonstrations before, but this one is a little different because it sounds like this is a little different than the other ones you've done, pretty much so. Is that correct? Uh, to a degree. I mean, what we're going to focus on what a women can do to really empower the men. Right. How they can infuse the energy back into the men that the men give to the women and really help bring the best out of of men in terms of their masculinity and their, and their ability to go in the world and make things happen. Um, you know, basically it's like a testosterone boosting uh, type of uh, technique that Ken is going to demonstrate. And we've done that before, but we've never done a top demonstration session that was solely dedicated to that. Okay. Now you said testosterone boosting. Is that what you said? Yeah, basically, you know, when a man, you know, makes love to a woman and gives to a woman, he's given a lot of his vital essence to her, you right. know, energetically in terms of his passion and also in terms of, you know, physically in terms of his semen. Right. So men lose a lot of uh, vital energy and, and nutrients and, and things of that nature. But women can help give that back to men by helping them generate that through some of these techniques that, that Kenya's going to demonstrate so basically it's helping men boost their testosterone there's a few ways that men can do it naturally you know there's certain things we can do out in the world you know in terms of you know engaging the world our environment to help those testosterone but there's also ways that women can help with these tantric techniques as well okay excellent excellent okay so um now so it'll be carl and kenya demonstrating the tantra sunday April 17th, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, yes. Can, can you go ahead and tell us the rest of this? I know there's, lim there's limited uh, seating and things like that. Yeah, there's limited seating. Half the seating is already gone. However, it will. if you don't get a seat, that's okay because it will be sold afterwards and it will be, you know, something you can anytime pick up at Juju Mama's Love Academy. We offer over 1,500 courses in Tantra, metaphysics, astrology, love, relationships, polyamory, all types of things. 
But this is you, you said over. You said you offer. Mom. Hold on. You said you offer over fifteen hundred classes. Yes. We, wow. Um, Juju Mama's Love Academy offers fifteen hundred courses and four major certifications. So if you wanted to be a tantra healer and you wanted to charge people for sessions, a practitioner, you can get that kind of license and certification from Juju Mama's Love Academy right now. Wow, wow. So that's what we do. Okay. Now we <laughs> We're have the largest provider in the world of that information. The largest provider in the world of what information? R- New paradigm relationships certification training. Okay. And and what is that? That means you could be a love coach, you can be a tantrika, you can be an um, astrologer, or you can learn and get certifications for any of those things at our Love Academy. Okay. Now, what type of, when you, a lot of times when you go for particular different training and to get certification, or you go for training, get webinars, things like this, people ask, well, what, what type of training do you have in this? What type of certifications do you have? Let people know, I know we've talked about it before, but we have a lot of new listeners since the last time you were on. Let people know your, your, your credentials and your background. Okay, my husband and I were officially trained as priests and priestess in the Altera Set Society for 11 years. So we lived in the community and we trained to um, go into trance, meditation, samadhi, yoga, feng shui, anything, metaphysical, astrology, you name it. The oracle, we both do oracle readings, I King and Maduna Tear. So we are 11 years of that, and then we went into training with Shantan Nityama who is one of the best Tantra practitioners on the planet. He's currently in South Africa or New Zealand, but we received our first training from him. Since then, we've written 14 books about relationships and sex and sexuality and uh, astrology, and all those are available on our website. But we run um, major groups online that support couples in having better relationships in the modern world. Okay, excellent, excellent. And uh, if people go to our website, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, we have information up about your uh, live tantra demonstration this Sunday in the link there. People can click on that, get more information. Okay, uh, and once again, people, this is, first of all, number one, this is not pornography. So if you're looking for pornography, no. there are a lot of other places <laughs> you can go for that. This is not it, but there will be nudity and live sexual activity. So this is for adults only. But once again, this is not pornography. This is Tantra. Those are two entirely different things. Sure. And if they come, it's really good to um, have your room set up. You may want to be, you know, you may want to work on your partner while you're right there. Or right, you right. also may want to bring your journal and take notes. Right. It's really participatory. You can ask questions, too. Yeah, so, so explain to people what, what they should have with them. That's always good. What they should have with them. Where should they set up? Should they do it in the kitchen? Should they do it in the living room? Is it better in the bedroom? Explain that to people. You may want to be in a really comfortable position because when I start going into orgasm, generally the people on the call, the women on the call, start going into orgasm. And that is because the female's orgasms are connected. So that's how women always know if the man is having outside affairs because we can feel it. So, wait, 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 okay, repeat that again. Hold on, say that again. <laughs> Women always know that men are having outside affairs because our orgasms are connected as female species. So we can feel another woman's pleasure. So when you feel my pleasure on Sunday night, you will likely go into orgasm. It's very easy, and it's, it's, it really opens you up. Okay, so uh, they should That's do women. it. That's women, not right. men. Right. Now for men, what, what, okay. So what, what should women bring? What should men bring? Men, uh, women should be there with their journal so they can get these 10 rituals down and these 10 practices so they can practice in their house with their man. And they should also do it in the bedroom, lie down and relax and watch this. Don't watch it sitting up at the kitchen table because you might want to stretch out (laughs) If you're watching with your partner. He might be right there. You might want to work on him right there. So it's best to do it while you're laying out in a comfortable space. Okay, excellent, excellent. Uh, and have your journal, uh, laptop, mm-hmm. high-speed internet yep. connection. Now, is this going to be archived if people miss part of it or what have you? Is it going to be archived? Absolutely, yes. Everyone who watches this, who gets in on, if you get a seat, um, the first 100 people get a seat because that's all our platform can hold you will get to have access to that recording to watch it again a few times. So that will be available at our Love Academy. You'll just click the link and you can see it. You can show your friends and say, hey, look at this. Oh, my God, I'm so cool. I know how to do Tantra. 
(laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. Well, look, guys, it's always great uh, having you on. We have this information at our website, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. So people check this out. Uh, the the, the uh, Tantra demonstration is forty nine ninety five. It's a live Tantra demonstration. It's training. It's not pornography. Once again, it's training. You can ask questions. There's a chat room there. You can ask questions. Uh, there's going to be uh, archived as well. So those that pay for the training, they'll have access to the uh, archive information. And you may want to do some other classes or do some other co- consultations with them as well. How can people find you all on social media? Social media, just Google Juju Mama, J U J U M A M A. Everything should come up. We have five websites. One is the Love Academy. That's all the courses I told you about. There, we have a store that's separate from that, and then we have a blog. So if you Google Juju Mama, you'll find us on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and everywhere. All right. Well, look, uh, Carl and Ken, you have a fantastic night, and uh, we'll my uh, myself and my fiance will be tuned in uh, Sunday night. Definitely. All okay. right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. Thanks for, thanks for calling All in. Right. Okay. Bye. All right. That's Carl and Kenya K. Stevens of the